Hello, welcome. My name is John Cordray. Thank you so much for watching us on the replay. I'm a national certified therapist and I'm the calm expert. And today we're going to talk a little bit about anxiety and depression and the struggle is real. So thank you for coming in. Thank you for the hearts already. <laughs> Um, appreciate you coming in and as you're coming in if you're able to share this on Twitter that would be great I would really appreciate that hey Jordan hello how are you new great thank you for letting me know that you're new hello again let go and let God thank you for coming back all right let's be nice here I'm gonna give you a second chance I always give trolls a second chance uh, but I want you uh, to participate or to watch but be nice Thank you so much guys for sharing on Twitter. That means a lot to me. Thank you for for coming in uh, Let's talk. Hi from the Philippines. Hello. Welcome. Hey girly 1990. Welcome. Good to see you. Hello. Is it Na Nadia? Hey, thank you for sharing and inviting your followers. Appreciate this. First time here. Great. Yeah, good That's, I'm very glad that you said that if you're new if you're here if you're just learning uh, about me or coming in for the first time, can you just let me know that you're new so I can welcome you? You have anxiety and depression, great, thank you for letting me know that. Okay, a lot of new people here. Wonderful, that's awesome, from Canada, nice. You should, <laughs> well, with trolls, I try to give them a second chance, and then I'll block them. <laughs> it's not for me, they're not, they're not bothering me, but I don't want them to bother you. Okay, great, wonderful. Thank you for letting me know that you're new. Great, all right, you have stress, I see that. Awesome, I've seen you a couple of times already. Welcome, Jordan, thank you for letting me know that. I'm doing very well. Uh, is it Nat Nadia? Sorry if I, I'm not really great with names, you guys. Sorry about that. Thank you for the hearts, by the way. I do appreciate it. I value your conversation. I value where you're at, and so I, I learn from you as well. Your name is V. Okay, V. Hi, V. Welcome. Best regards uh, from Turkey. Awesome. Glad to have you from Turkey. Always glad to do that. Okay, so let's uh, let's be nice in here. Uh, this is a safe environment, and uh, I want you to feel safe. Okay. Hello from Hong Kong. Hi, Rosa. Welcome. I look forward to all your time. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> How can I get better with my anxiety? Great. Well, thank you for that question. I, you're in good company here. You're you're in a safe place. Anxiety is your middle name. Oh, no. And I'm a, I'm a therapist, and I'm the calm expert, and I help people uh, work through their struggle. And the struggle is real. I call it in sick way. Do, do the anxiety and panic attacks. Wow. Okay. All right. Hey, Georgia. Welcome. Uh, and I want to apologize right uh, up front. I may not get to all of your comments. Uh, it's not because I'm avoiding you. I just can't get to them all at the same time. Uh, but you might want to copy and paste. What do you think of yoga for anxiety? I think it's great. I think yoga can be a very, very good resource for those who struggle with anxiety or depression. Uh, exercise in general, eating well, uh, getting your sleep, all this stuff. If you take care of your body, your, your body will take care of your emotions. Think I'm depressed and have so much anxiety. Wow, thank you for letting me know. All right, some of you are on Xanax. Okay, good. Awesome. Um, how can someone who takes everything to heart relax? Oh, good question. You're a sensitive person and it's hard uh, to, to let things slide off, right? That's not an easy question. Uh, but you're all of you are in good company here. This is a safe community. And I wanna encourage you, if you're new, I encourage you to, to share your struggle. And I encourage other people to help each other in here. So I want you to be a part of this. Uh, you're new, okay, great, thank you. Doctor told me to think to handle my depression with anger. Wow, okay. Uh, is there a way to test for if you're depressed? Um, yeah, there are different things that you can do. I have a hard time with relaxing. Yeah, I mean, if you have anxiety and depression, it is hard to relax, isn't it? Look, before we get started, I want to take my poll. I, I like taking polls. If you're here in my scope and you have anxiety, can you put up a number one? Uh, if you have anxiety or intense worry, I would like to know. I know some of you have been here before. It's kind of what I do. Put up a one so I know who's all in here. Um, okay, great. So I'm talking to a lot of people. Hey, Gregory, I see you come in. Uh, a lot of people have worry and anxiety that are here. Great. I, I'm glad to know that. Thank you. 
Now, if you struggle with depression, if that's something that you struggle with, put up a, a number two. If you can put up a two so I, I get an idea uh, if there are both depression and anxiety. Okay, some of you are both. Okay. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. Why you're not listening? Oh, I'm, I'm not doing it intentional. I, I, I promise. <laughs> yeah, so, you, okay, you, your kids have it too. Okay, all right. Thank you, you guys. I appreciate your honesty. I think that's one of the first things that we need, uh, that you need to, to work through is to be honest with yourself, honest with others with your struggle. And you need to be able to be in a safe place. All right, so a lot of you have both. And that's something that I want to offer some encouragement and some hope and some inspiration for you. No matter where you're from, no matter where you're at, a lot of you are from all over the world. And I want you to know that you have come to a safe place. I want you to know that it's okay to be you. There's no expectations. You don't have to be anyone else. You don't have to pretend here. I want you to be real. I want you to be you. And I want you to feel safe. Safe enough to be able to share your struggles. Safe enough to hear from other people. One, two, and three. Yeah, you've been here, haven't you? Okay, so yeah, a lot of you are struggling. A lot of you struggle. Oh, so I, you know, it's too bad some people aren't really nice. That's okay, because even trolls are people. <laughs> Biology and neurology are driving forces in depression. Absolutely. Uh, I always say that there's several causes, if you will. There's biology, what your your what you, what's inside you, your hered it's hereditary, your DNA. Um, it could be environmental, where you live, the environment, or it could be situational. And so there's lots of different factors and variables. Uh, white coat syndrome, not sure what that is. Uh, do you know why doc are reluctant to diagnose bipolar? I didn't know they were. Uh, always remember to be you and not ch take, let your challenges put you, take you down. Yep, good. I like that. Yeah, I want, I want to encourage you to be you. I want you to be okay with who you are. Be okay in your own skin. And I know when you have anxiety and depression, it makes you feel like there's something wrong with you. And I talked about that a little bit yesterday on my scope, that there's nothing wrong with you. And I want you to try to separate your struggle with who you are. Don't, don't confuse the two. You are not your anxiety. You are not your depression. You are a you, human being that deserves dignity. Oh, white, oh, okay. White coat syndrome is fear of the doctor. Okay, thank you about, uh, for that. Yeah, I mean, there's different phobias. People have different specific phobias of all types. Yeah, you beat yourself over it. it does that happen a lot? We, I, I call it the inner critic. And doesn't that happen often when your anxiety flares up or your depression and you start thinking these bad thoughts about yourself? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't catch everybody. How can I deal with my anxiety when I have to drive? Well, that's a good question. Um, the best thing that I would say is try to be prepared. Know that driving is makes you anxious and um, work through some steps. What are you going to do? Listen to music, listen to a podcast, listen to some encouragement, encouragement uh, and just try to be grounded and focus on the here and now. To everyone suffering from day to day, yeah, I didn't catch all that, sorry. You have to take Xanax to go to the doctor. Yeah, that's very possible. A lot of you might have to take medication and that's okay. There are a lot of you who would rather not be on medication and that's okay as well. Okay, number two, all right, thank you for that, I see that. Uh, why has my body become addicted to, to Paxil? You know, our bodies tend to depend on certain things and that, it's possible that, that you are dependent on that and you might just need to get wean off of it with, with your doctor. Hello, I see that, lavender. I'm not a psychologist, but I am a national certified therapist. Uh, I'm a licensed therapist. A um, little bit different. I don't want to take meds. That's okay. So some of you would rather do everything you can and not take medication because of the side effects and various reasons. Others of you are on medication, and that's okay too. I don't want you to feel ashamed if you need medication. There's no shame in that. That's why it's a both and. Some you might, and some you may not want to. Short of breath, I'm very emotional, but can't, but that, that, yeah, it can be anxiety. Absolutely. It could be a panic attack. 
uh, it's very likely, and, and it's when you feel like you're not in control, everything seems overwhelming. That's when it gets 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 you down. Hey guys, if you're if you are new or just came in, if you can do me a favor and share this on Twitter, I would really appreciate that. I've uh, been on business Philippines for 14 years and a major concerns of long-term effects. Yeah, as far as medication goes, uh, I always I always refer you to talk your concerns. Thank you for sharing uh, your concerns on, with your doctor or a pharmacist. Thank you guys for sharing on Twitter. That's That means a lot. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mom gets very emotional. Ah, I didn't catch all that. Thank you for your time, your knowledge. Oh, you're welcome, sunny girl. That's my pleasure. Uh, this week has been a great week for me to be on Periscope because I'm able to reach a lot more new people. This uh, this week's been great. I, I'm here because I want to offer hope and encouragement and let you know you're not crazy. You're not crazy at all. You, you're suffering. Benzapine's trying to get off crazy. Yep. And so often you feel like you're alone and there's something wrong with you. It's shopping addiction, OCD. Um, I mean, it could be, I mean, it's hard to say, but it certainly could be a spending spree it could be a symptom of other things too. But again, I'm not here. I'm not here to offer diagnosis at all. Uh, you might want to ask if you maybe go see a therapist and ask them, uh, check your serotonin level. Yep. I mean, that's biological. That's exactly right. It could be, uh, you go, go get a physical, talk to your doctor. Uh, it could be other health issues too. That's related. Uh, so that's all very, very important to check out first, right? So if it's something going on with your emotions, I would always say go and, and check out your body and biological um, uh, symptoms first. Yeah, so meds may not. They may not work for you. And, and so for some people, it works wonderful. That's why there's so many different types. And that's why there's not a straight, clear yes or no answer whether or not to take medication, but I'm not here to, to I'm not here to talk about medication necessarily. Uh, but to encourage you, if you want, if you need to take it, that's that you need it. Is neurogenesis caused by ECT best cured? And I didn't catch all that. Walking helps so much. Yes, absolutely. And exercise and just getting out. If you can walk in, and if it's sunny, and get that both that sun and that vitamin D and 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 walking it does wonders. Um, I can't talk Italian. I'm not, I'm not from Italy. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who are new, uh, I'm a national certified therapist and I'm the calm expert. And so I come on Periscope. I have a podcast as well. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, I used to do a lot of tutorials on Periscope, but now I'm doing it on my YouTube channel and you can go to my YouTube channel and look at all the videos that I have uploaded on there. They're edited three to five minutes or so, and I think you might find them very helpful. My podcast is there as well. Um, do you think it works? I don't know. I, I can't speak to that because I'm not sure. Uh, um, I don't know that much about it. Check your vitamin D levels. Yes, vitamin D is important. Absolutely. Uh, how long does medication take to work? Depends on the medication and on you. There's so many variables, uh, but you know the best thing you do is, is talk to your doctor or your pharmacist. Uh, I always recommend you to do that when it comes to talking about medication. People with MS usually get very moody. It can because it's, there's a lot going on physically in their body as well, and then that affects their emotions. So that's, that makes a lot of sense. Yep. This is water, by the way, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for the hearts. That means a lot. I appreciate that. And your comments. I love this conversation. I love to be able to just to reach out to you. Uh, I don't prefer any particular meds. Uh, again, I'm not a doctor, uh, but I would, it depends. There's so, it's so many, there's so many variables there. I don't want to recommend anything. Um, yeah, I, I like how the guys are talking to each other too. That's great. Wonderful. Awesome. Uh, so any other questions? I'm going to keep this going. I, I wanted to encourage you. I want to let you know that you're going to be okay. I know it may feel like you're not. It might feel like your world's coming to an end. But I want to be that voice of reason to you. You have MS now, and I know why a doctor wanted me to manage for a year. thought it was nuts. Wow. 
you know, when you go through a health issue and how it can affect your emotions, some that just makes it worse, doesn't it? Because, you know, if you're not feeling well physically, then automatically, more than likely, you're not going to feel well emotionally. And it, it makes it worse, doesn't it? Um, and that's very, very tough. Any recommendations to gain motivation when you have a long-term depression? That's, that's on a case-to-case -case basis as well, but take it small. Focus on the here and now, one step at a time. Mental health is not uh, looked as serious enough. I didn't catch all that. There's definitely a stigma when it comes to mental illness or mental health. It kind of feels like the world's crashing around it. You're right. It does. It does. It feels like you're alone, isolated. Uh, feel like you're a burden on other people. And so that's where it gets, gets hard and when you feel like alone. Hi, just came and you're right. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. And what, what I'm wanting to do, what I'm trying to do here on Periscope is create a community where it's safe. So you know you can come in here and you can share. I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to offer your support and encouragement. And I want everybody who's in my scope to do the same for each other. We're here for each other. Um, it's feeling the burden is the worst. Yes, absolutely. Is there a fine line between bipolar and other diagnoses long Road finding out what's wrong with me. Yeah, I mean, I personally, I think, I think everybody has it's a lifelong process of learning about ourselves. We have to do a lot of reflection, and uh, so often when we face conflict, when we face hardships, when we face things that feels like uh, we hit a rock bottom, that's when we start to learn more about ourselves. How we react to certain things, how we do things. Thank you, Jackie, for sharing on Twitter. That means a lot. Uh, so we will always be a student and I think we should be a student of ourselves. We need to really try to work through be, and be self-aware. And I think if you can learn to be self-aware, you'll be able to be more calm and then that then can change your world. And I believe that medication works when you need to calm yourself down. It can. Absolutely. You have panic disorder and just started CBT. Yes, great. Cognitive behavioral therapy is a great technique, and I think it'd be really helpful as long as you put in the work. Yes, awesome. Good for you. Uh, glue can reverse autoimmune. Yeah, sorry. You have general anxiety. Thank you for letting me know that. I appreciate that. Helps with self-awareness. Yes, yes. Good. Uh, some suicidal feeling. If you're, if anybody's feeling suicidal right now, or you know somebody, call the hotline. I, I don't have it with me right now, but. Call, uh, look online and find a 24-hour a, a, a suicide hotline. Talk to somebody. That's what you need. Or go to the nearest hospital. You've got to get the help. I know it may seem like life is over, but it's not. Life is worth living. And so you have to find that within you and believe it and get the help that you need. Yeah, hotline is the best. Good, yes. There, that's, that's a great resource. Mom has depression. She lies a lot. Yeah, that's difficult. That's so hard. I'm going to move this down just a little bit. Yeah, go to the hospital. Yeah, girly, gir thank you for that. I think that's good, sound uh, advice. Go to the hospital if you need it. Even if you're just listening to someone, it really helps. Or Vinny, you're, you're exactly right, Cheryl. Exactly right. How long does it take uh, grief? Why is it so hard? Ugh. Grief is very difficult because we all grieve differently. The important with grief, if you lost somebody, uh, or you've gone through a loss, there's not a timeline, but at the same time, I don't want you to get stuck. I don't want you to get stuck being depressed or angry all the time. You gotta go through a process. There are stages of grief, and I, I want you to, to go through them and recognize, oh, thank you for that hotline, I love that. Uh, so, what works for one person with grief doesn't always work for the other. We just gotta take it one day at a time. Uh, Ma, we have something in our lives, suicide, never an option, keep telling yourself. Yeah, absolutely. There's always something to live for. True seeing others going through the same. Yeah, so this is my hope. I love how you guys are interacting. I love how you're talking to each other because you're helping and encourage other people. Yeah, keep putting that suicide hotline out there because uh, I think we need to give that out there and let people know that there are resources. And I, I, it's great having you guys do that. Uh, I've been suffering major depression for 30 years. Oh my. 
I didn't catch that last part. Sorry. Yeah, panic attacks are horrible. Anxiety is horrible. Deep depression is horrible as well. And I, I don't have all the answers. I wish I did, but I don't. I don't have all the answers. But I can give you encouragement and support. And I am a therapist, and I'll, I own my own private practice. And I see a lot of people, probably the majority of the people I see have anxiety and depression. And I want to offer you that same hope and support. What if I have mainly large traumas? Can you heal from many? You can heal. I believe you can. PTSD is not a life sentence. But at the same time, you've got to reach out for help. It won't just go away on its own. You can't just hope for the best and not do anything. You've got to go. You need to be able to process that out loud with somebody. Um, so there is hope. And you can get better. But you have to work at it. You can't just sit back and... and and hope that it'll get better. You have to do something about it. I struggled with depression and bipolar for 20 years. Life is always changing. Ride with a ride with peace. Yeah, I like that, Deb. That, you know, that to me, that sounds like you've accepted where you're at. You don't like it, but you accept it. You can't, if you get up every morning and you don't accept it, you're fighting, but you're not fighting the right thing. You're, you're, you're giving up hope. So you want to accept it, but at the same time, not accept it, if that makes sense. You accept it with saying, okay, I have this, but now what? So I need to do something about it. I need to do everything that I can. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Support from family and friends that care about you. Yes, surround yourself with people who care. That's why I like about this community right here with everybody here in my, my scope. This is a community. And as a community, we can offer each other hope and encouragement. Even if you feel alone at home, you can come and be encouraged. Uh, Matthew, a book. Okay, I saw that part. Uh, I have anxiety, asthma, panic attacks. It's hard. Yes. Hey, Connie. Difference between anxiety and bipolar. Good question. Hi, Jenny. Good question. Um, bipolar, this is, I don't want you to self-diagnose, okay? So that I want to caution you not to self-diagnose yourself. But... The difference between anxiety and bipolar, bipolar has uh, manic, it uh, can have manic, which is you're, you're like unnaturally happy and giddy. Um, and then you're, you can be very depressed. So you go up and down. Anxiety is kind of a constant, intense worry all the time, thinking that something bad's going to happen. So that's kind of the, in a nutshell, uh, the differences. Trust every day, Zoloft doesn't work, 100 milligrams. Yeah, I mean, just because you try medication, it's not a guarantee. There's not a guarantee in life. And don't put all your hope in medication. But if you need it, it might get you through. But sometimes it won't. Sometimes it'll backfire. It'll give you, self, uh, it'll give you uh, um, um, side effects. I had that in college. I got very manic in college. That was bad. Yeah, being manic can be difficult. Thank you, MS1024, uh, for inviting your followers. I always appreciate people inviting and sharing because I want to get this word out. I want other people who struggle to know that there's a resource and you're a part of this community. Uh, sorry, I missed some of that. My son has uh, offered a holistic route to help me re refine my balance. Good. Awesome, Jordan. I'm sure it was hard, girly. Thank you, Betty, for putting it up there. Thank you, Genevieve, for inviting followers. And wow, look at you guys. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. It means a lot to me. It really does. No problem. Yes. Military, military said I got my depression, anxiety when I got cancer 30 years ago. Very possible. Very, very possible. It, when So often we experience something we don't expect. It could be a health problem, a death, or a sudden transition. That can, can really... Uh, mess with our mind and it's not because you're weak it's not because you're there's something wrong with you it's just how our brains are, are developed how, how it's made we're made to be in relationship we were we were created to be in relationship and when that relationship is somehow uh, destroyed or cut off that's when we have a difficult time have a great personality oh thank you Jenny I appreciate that Trauma caused all of my mental health issues. Yes, it doesn't mean that you're crazy. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. It just means that you 
witnessed or been a part of something tragic or something biological in your DNA makeup. Uh, I'm still medicated, PPD, psychosis, anxiety from having my son six years ago, medication saying, yes, medication can be very, very helpful for a lot of people. It's just our life is crazy, doesn't matter. Yes, I like that, yes. You might feel crazy, it might, um, but you're not, that doesn't mean you are crazy, okay? Mental health services in the UK are a joke. I'm sorry to hear that. But I bet there's, there's got to be some resources in the UK. Do you believe you can heal and overcome a uh, diagnosis? I, I'm assuming that's what you mean. I know most or must a lifelong. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you could get through like anxiety, for instance. Anxiety is treatable. Even depression, you can go through a season. It doesn't mean that you're going to have that for all the rest of your life. It just means you're going through a season. I just don't want you to give up hope. And when you give up hope, that's when you give in to it. And when you give in to it, that's when it's, it defeats you. And I don't want you to live a defeated life. I want you to live a, a life of freedom where you can live life and enjoy life, even though if you had this, you can still work through it. Is anxiety panic disorder hereditary? Yes, it can be. Um, it is proven that anxiety and depression can be hereditary. Um, so, but don't blame anybody if you have someone in your family, but it is, and that, and that just means, you know, um, that just means that you are, it's like your, your hair color and your eye color, and there's a lot of things you, you can't, you can't change, right? It's just part of you. Uh, right now, can you help, help you him out? I'm not sure what you mean by that, girly. I appreciate this conversation. This is great. I, I really, really look forward to these times. Uh, but someone do need two pronged approach to therapy. But yeah, you're right. Exactly. A lot of times people need to have medic take medication and therapy at the same time. And that is a good combo, a very, very good combination. Um, oh, you, some of you might have just hopped in. Uh, I'm a national certified therapist. My name is John Cordray. And I also have, I, I want to direct you to my YouTube channel. The link is in my bio here on Periscope. And the reason why I direct you there is because I have a lot of videos on there around this topic. What do you think about mindfulness? I think it's great. Uh, I think mindfulness helps you get into the here and now. Anxiety, depression gets you outside of the here and now, right? You want to get better in the future. You wish you had a better past. Uh, is Roy, is he having a hard time? Not sure who that is. I never felt suicidal, stuck in a situation. Hard to start effects are hard to stop. You're right, yeah. Um, really be in close contact with your doctor on that medication. I watched my bipolar episodes that helped me later in life to stay bi uh, in my bipolar life, stay calm and relaxed. Yes, learning from others uh, it can be a very, very good source of encouragement. Oh, he's in the scope. Oh, okay. So he's in the scope. Uh, so true anxiety focuses on future anxiety. Yep, exactly. Mindfulness is when you become self-aware according to Hindu religion. Yeah, it doesn't. Ha mindfulness is not just from the Hindu religion. Mindfulness is can can be really based on anything. Um, even meditation can be. His name is Roy. Hi, Roy. Uh, she's taking talking about me, but I'm. Oh, oh, okay. Hi, Roy. You're doing okay? Well, you can always reach out. Um, but yeah, even meditation so, so often is linked to Eastern religion. But I believe meditation can be on any... I, I'm, a, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. So when I talk about meditation, I meditate on God's word. But that's who I am. <laughs> Hi, Roy. Just trying to help, girly. That's nice of you. Hey, Dorinda. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I need that reminder. Uh, it's always the worst at night. You're right. Exactly. Hello, Possum. Welcome. Uh, yeah, I, I find that to be true, too. When it's dark, when you're tired, you hear things, or, or it's magnified, and shadows are magnified, and it's hard and lonely. My dad emotionally abusive, narcissistic, but I'm not legally allowed to stop. Wow. That's hard, too. Very, very difficult. You gotta, that's where you really have to think through your boundaries. Know your limits, right? You love, but also have limits. 
and, and loving, one of some of the most loving things that you can do is have limits and boundaries. Uh, you can do it with any religion and themes. Yeah, you're, exactly. I agree with that. Absolutely. Mm. All right, you love God. He leaves missteps. He gives me a peace. Yes, I, I'm with you there, Misty. Medical problems to do things anxiety. It can. Absolutely. What what age do you think children should be evaluated? Um, you know, not too young because I do see a lot of children, but it's very, very difficult when a child is really young. It's hard to know because there's no history. There's no pattern. So I would say you got to be, they have to be old enough to have a pattern. Um, taking in consideration the family life and heredity, you know, if there's any hereditary uh uh, issues as well. So yeah, the child has to be old enough. Um, I would say definitely older than eight. Um, other younger than that, it's very difficult to diagnose. Any any tips on how to lower social anxiety? Yeah, and on my YouTube channel, I talk about social anxiety as well, and my podcast. So I'll, I'll, I'll address that in a minute. But if you're interested, you can go to my website at johncordray.com. Can you see that? JohnCordray.com, my name.com, and I have a podcast and my YouTube channel that talks about that. Uh, I was seeing an eight. Yeah, my daughter is 12 and showing signs of OCD. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think you should because isn't it better? I, and the question was, uh, your child is showing signs. Okay, you start at eight. Your child is, if your child is, is showing signs of OCD, anxiety, depression, should you go? Uh, take them to a therapist, and I say absolutely. Why not? If you're wrong, it's isn't it better to be wrong and, and find out than to be right and not do it. So yeah, I definitely would would do that because they're struggling, and you don't want them to struggle through school. It's better to catch it early than to wait later in life. I can't tell you how many people and adults that I see that struggled as a child, not that the parents were, were bad at all, they just didn't know what to do, what help to get. And she will know how to get help. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, okay, a lot of people here agree with that. Um, so if you have somebody that you think, or maybe you wonder, well maybe I should see a therapist, I say why not, what will hurt? Go and, and share. Most vital everyone needs, I didn't catch all that, sorry. Uh, my dad tried to kill me as a kid and beat me. I have been raped 14. Wow. That is a lot. So I hope you, you are talking to somebody about that because that is intense. You need to be able to, to uh, verbally process, process that with somebody, preferably a therapist. Yeah, you need. I, I would recommend that you go and talk to somebody. Not because you're not, you are not crazy. Just because you talk to a therapist doesn't mean you're crazy. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It means that you need to get it out. You need to process that. So I want to encourage you to do that. You've been through a lot. And uh, so don't suffer any longer, right? Don't put it off. Get help. You're 24 and have two kids. Well, I appreciate you sharing. I, I, I appreciate the fact that you feel safe enough to say that. It, oh, cool. Yeah, great, great, great. Well, therapy works. Thank you. Yes. And I think people need to hear that from someone else other than me because I'm a therapist. It means you had to uh, smart to seek attention. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's important. You, you need to invest in your life. You need to invest in your recovery. And why not get the best help that you can? Parents have a real, uh, to be real with their child, children. Yep. Nice. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. And if you haven't already, I appreciate you sharing on uh, Twitter. Uh, you do that by swiping to the right or up and down and push the share button and out uh, to Twitter. I like Twitter because I can give you a heart and I can retweet it and let you know as my way of saying thank you. Therapy does help. Yes. There's nothing wrong going to take someone I had therapy from 9th to 12th. Yes. Great. Doreen, a thank you. And I appreciate your guys' um, your your being honest here, and you're sharing your story. And as you share your story, you're helping other people. And there's a and in a lot of ways, you can help somebody better than I can just by your your, your stories, your panic attacks, and your cry. Absolutely, that makes sense. That's your body reacting to something going on deeper, 
right? When you cry or when you have panic, it's just, it's overwhelmed. And so your body is reacting to that. It's almost like it's crying out, you need help. I've been through multiple therapies and have lost confidence. Yeah, and that's the thing with anxiety. Anxiety robs you of your confidence. Typically, if you have the higher your anxiety, the lower your confidence is. And the opposite is that as well. The higher your, your anxiety, uh, or the lower your anxiety, the higher your confidence is. Typically. Hey, Hillary, welcome. And so typically, when you are going through anxiety or depression, your confidence will be low. Your self-doubt will be high. You're going to gonna be thinking about negative thoughts, and you're going to be just, that, that inner critic is going to be pounding you. Hey, Hillary. Hillary's another good therapist, you guys. She's a very, very good therapist, especially she's a relationship expert. So I want to direct your attention, follow her. Uh, whenever a therapist that I know of pops in, I'm going to give them a shout out because I want you to get, have all the resources that you can get. Yeah, you're welcome, Hillary. Uh, I have a lot of self-doubt. That happens, okay? Even people who don't have anxiety and depression will have self-doubt. But when you have anxiety and depression, it makes it worse. So you have to work through that. It's a mental mindset that you got to work through and start believing the truth and say no to false lies. And it's hard sometimes to, to, to figure out what's false and what's true. But it's so important to try. Military diagnosis, mostly PTSD. Well, if, they, if the military, the VA diagnosed you with PTSD, they need to be able to offer you resources. So I really want to encourage you to get that. Anxiety can actually cause your throat to close. Yeah, but panic, certainly. A uh, panic attack can do all sorts of things physically to your body. Uh, be gone in a critic. Yes, I like that. Yes, yes. Uh, that's me. High anxiety, low self-esteem. It happens. That's what it does. It robs you, right? Your high anxiety robs you of your confidence and it robs you of enjoying life. It robs you of the joy. It's there. You can have freedom, it's there, but it's raw, it, it's this, it's this gloom, this, this monster. And I call, I, 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 a lot of times I call it like a leech, an invisible leech that's on you and it's sucking you, sucking your joy right from your life. And I want you to know that there is hope in, in, and I want to encourage you to get the help that's out there. What does panic attacks do to my body? Okay, good question. Uh, when I cry my throat, sometimes it completely closes. Yeah, that that there could be a number of reasons for that. Uh, but I, boy, you know, I would say go to your doctor and talk to your doctor about it. It could be something physical. Been off work for eight months and confined in my house nine percent of the time. Yeah, that would suck. Um, my my wife has done this. I've said this before, uh, and she's given me permission to talk about it. Uh, but she's gone, she went through high anxiety and depression as well for four and a half years. She had to take off time from work. And it was, it was a living hell. And it was miserable uh, for her and for me trying to be her caregiver and her husband. And I want to say she's, I'm able to say she's better now. She's on the other side. And that's why I can offer you hope because I am living it, it right in front of my face. Not only am I a therapist and I have clients, but I live it. And I have lived it. Thank you for the hearts. And I am passionate about this. And I know you can experience that as well. Now, does that mean your anxiety and your depression is going to be gone completely? No. It doesn't mean that. But it does mean that you can live in freedom. I believe you can do that. And I believe you can work on that. And I believe that you can get better. So I believe there's hope. When you give up on hope, that's when it gets worse. How did she do what main things that helped her? That's a great question. You know, I, what I, I'm, I'm going to see if she at some point would like to come on, on a Periscope with me. And I think that'd be really cool. And then maybe you can ask her some, yourself. Uh, you can hear right from her. I think that would be tremendous help for you. I don't know. Uh, I would ask. I don't think she would mind, but uh, I'll ask her and see if she'd be open to that. If if you'd be interested in that. Um, thank you. Let God let go and let God for inviting followers. Uh, yes, definitely would love that. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad to know that. My driving anxiety stops me from doing things I should with my daughter. Yes, it does. That would suck. Um, I would get if. 
if you can, if you had the time and the resources, go talk to a therapist and your therapist can wor work you through that. That would be cool for your wife to talk. Yeah, I'll let her know. I'll tell her that you would like that. Um, because I think, I think we need to be open and vulnerable as well and realize that we're not perfect. And you need to hear that. Great. I think it's great that you are living with it as well because it means, yes, yes, a absolutely. My depression stops me from everything. Yeah, it does. It, it can. And one of the reasons why I'm so passionate with why I do what I do, why I call myself, I, I'm, I call myself a calm expert, not because I'm perfect, there's not, because I, I know a lot about it. I help a lot of people. And I want you to know that not only do I have the education, I have the experience, but I also have life experience with it as well um, with my wife. And so I hope you see that I am, I am passionate and I'm authentic and I'm transparent. Um, and I, I'm certainly not perfect and uh, I don't claim to be and I never will. I want to be open and honest and transparent with you because I think that's what works. That's what's important, right? I overcame anxiety completely. Only reason it returned years later was serious health issues. Yeah. And you know what? It can come and go. It kind of comes in waves sometimes. You might feel better for a while and then something happens and you start, it flares up again. And it just, that's seasons of life. Hello. Oh, I missed that. When you have anxiety, can you have coughing spells? Yeah. You know, I think our body reacts differently. It's kind of like when you hear bad news and someone laughs. It's kind of that nervous laughter. It's kind of almost like a, you can't stop it. It's irresistible. It just comes out. I think our body can react to different ways and different things. Um, someone asked about panic attack earlier. How does it affect your body? Um, panic attacks can affect you in a number of ways. It, it can, a lot of people confuse it with heart attack. And your chest can tighten. You can sweat. Your heart races. Your mind races. Uh, you get dizzy. Um, you, it affects your stomach and can make you nauseous. So there's a lot of ways that your emotions affect your, your physical body as well and vice versa. That's why it's so important to do, to work on both. Uh, so try to eat healthy, try to exercise, even go for a walk, um, drink plenty of water and really try to get sleep. Those are all very important for your emotional health, not just for your physical health. How can I get motivated? I can't accomplish anything. I set my mind on not even daily chores. Um, I think you need somebody in your court. You need someone to cheer you on. You need someone to hold you accountable. Uh, you can't do this alone. And so find somebody that you... All right, thanks for coming, Jordan. Appreciate it. Uh, you need to find somebody that uh, will hold you accountable and encourage you. Um, if you try it alone, I think it's going to be really difficult uh, to do this alone. So try not to do that. Try to find somebody. Try not to do it alone. Uh, does it contribute to pain? Because I'm a sufferer from chronic pain daily as well. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that's hard to know. Your chronic pain may cause the, the emotional symptoms. Our mind can fool us. You're right, it can. I'm older than, uh, I didn't catch that. Talking best. You're welcome, Jake. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts, by the way, for still giving me hearts. I appreciate that. If you haven't yet, if you could share this on Twitter, uh, that would be awesome. And try to get this message out there. Uh, and, and then it also allows me, I can when, I, when I'm done with my scope, uh, I go on Twitter to see who shared on Twitter. And I heart give you a heart and a retweet to, to say thank you. I'm very alone. Can't trust my doctors and limited insurance. I'm sorry that you, that you feel alone. I I get it. I do. I get it. And you, you limit the resources. You don't have the money to keep going to doctors. And um, but there's got to be communities. There's got to be somewhere that you can find a few other people to share your life with, till you're not alone. And the only person that can do that to look for that is you. And you might have to you might have to really uh, help yourself. And get yourself going. At least try to find to get something out of bed. Yes. You know what you might try to do? 
What you might try to do is write yourself a letter or use your phone and record a video talking to yourself. That might help. It might help some, might not help others. Uh, but you can be your own encouragement. And just get your phone up and talk to yourself as if you are encouraging yourself. And then when you feel down, watch that video of you talking to you. <laughs> and you just try it or write yourself a letter. Sometimes that could help. Claire Weeks wrote great self-help books for that work. Okay, thank that's that excellent resource right there. Yeah, get some good books. Uh, listen to podcast. Um, yeah, the power of Periscope. I have a podcast as well uh, on my website if, or iTunes. Uh, you can listen to that. You can watch my videos on my YouTube channel. So there, there are a lot of resources out there. You just have to go looking for them. If you're interested in my YouTube channel, you can find a link. Uh, yeah, Facebook groups, sure. Uh, you can find a link in my Periscope bio here and that uh, to my YouTube channel. So I try to give you a lot of resources as well. Have, yeah, great. Uh, having a good support uh, system is key. Yes, absolutely is key. Hey, Kyle, welcome. Oh, thanks, Kyle. I appreciate that. Your videos are great. Oh, thanks, Steve. I appreciate that. Great vids on YouTube. Listen to Jarl. Oh, thank you, Popsicles. That means a lot. That's why I'm doing it. I, I, I was using Periscope for a long time. Uh, it's more of a tutorial base. Uh, but about a month and a half ago, I decided to start my YouTube channel. And I use that as a way for more of my tutorials uh, because um, I found that even with Catch, now Catch is going to go away, um, I found that my YouTube channel is a much better platform. And so now I'm using Periscope as a conversation and using YouTube as more of my tutorial. And I'm finding that I, I really enjoy that. I love this interaction with you. I love being able to talk to you and, and give you that support. And when I would do a tutorial, I didn't have this. You were watching, people were watching, but not really having a conversation. And that's what I want is a conversation. I think besides my therapist, I wouldn't be heard my family and friends. Yeah. But here's the thing. Thanks, Steve, for sharing. Here's the thing. You're not a burden. You feel like you're a burden, but you're not. And the people who love you want to help you. What are your days and times on Periscope? Um, well, what I've been doing is Tuesdays and Thursdays, but this week in particular, I've been on uh, several days this week just because of this community has been awesome. Typically, I'm definitely on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, in the afternoons, typically, but depending on how things go and I'm on my week, because I do own a private practice and my time and availability, uh, I'll come on different times, like today's Friday. Yesterday I came on twice. Um, so definitely Tuesdays and Thursdays, but just follow me and get my notifications. Uh, your family doesn't get it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's hard. I, in fact, I, I think it was a video or a podcast that I did was how to explain anxiety to someone who doesn't get it. And so that video was for someone to watch to try to understand. Oh, you're welcome, B246. You're very, that's why I do it. I do it for you guys. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. So I want to be that encouragement for you. My family constantly says, oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah, you know, that's what makes it very, if you don't have a support system, and the opposite of that, if your family looks at you uh, as a burden, or if your family criticizes you, that makes it so much harder. And then there was some reason I get to say, yeah, I didn't catch that. Ah, sorry, I, I didn't catch that. So sorry. You, uh, if if I don't get to your question, I'm not avoiding it. I just can't get to it. You might want to copy and paste. Hello there. Thank you. You're welcome, Fox. If you're new, uh, a lot of people uh, follow me this week. If you're new, let me know uh, so I can give you a proper welcome. Uh, help me do a six hour flight. I always feel trapped. Um, yeah, I, I would say listen, find find a podcast or an audio book that talks about it. And that way you can listen to it while you're on the airplane. Something that's going to encourage you and, and help you. 
All right, Bug68, you're new. Welcome. New. Is that Goobish? <laughs> How's it going? You're welcome, Hannah. Absolutely. Yeah, just think about, try to think about what you can take with you. You had your phone with you all the time. So how can you use your phone as a resource? So you, get, you can listen to podcasts. You can watch things. You can, you know, a lot of different things that you can do. I'm new from Perth, Australia. Australia, nice. I have, you know, you have friends with anxiety. Well, you're a good friend, Michelle. Uh, you are, you want to learn about it so you can support them. And that's awesome. That means that you are a very good friend. And you may not get it, you may not even understand it, but you you understand enough that you want to be there as a support. You don't have to have all the right things to say, but to be there is the most important. I use an app on my phone specific for anxiety. Awesome. Yeah, drink lots of water. I think that's great. I'm not seeing a therapist at the moment, but feel supported by you. Not alone. Absolutely. That's why I'm here. I want to supply. I'm not here to replace your therapist, but I'm here to encourage you. Yeah. Good job. Well, thank you. I appreciate that compliment. That means a lot. It humbles me. Whenever I do a Periscope, I never know who will come and, and, and what they're suffering from, but I'm always humbled. And so it's very humbling. Now I want to be here for others. Yes. I love that. We need to be here. Does anxiety, depression cause restlessness? Yes, it can. Yes, it could be horrible with that, and it can't get sleep. Encouragement is everything. Yes, you guys. I would. What I the, the thing I would encourage you to do. Uh, obviously, I can't be on Periscope all the time. Find other therapists as well on Periscope, but but also subscribe to podcasts. All right, thank you for coming by. You have a nice day too. You can listen to my podcast, but there are some others out there, um, and then you can watch the videos on my YouTube. And that's as a resource as well. And it's there. I, I mean, I'm not the only one, but that's why I do what I do. You, you're new here. If you'll find the right place. Yes, I'm glad. I want, please write a book. I saw that. I want this, I want my scopes to be a safe place for you. I never claim and I never will claim that I have all the answers. But I will say that I, I want to be a support. I want to inspire. And I want you to realize that you are stronger than you think you are. Do you have a mental illness? Do you have some struggles? Yes. But it doesn't mean that you're less of a person. And I want to be that voice to encourage you. Because I think that's going to lead the way of breaking the stigma of mental illness. To break that stigma, that, that feeling of I can't tell anybody because they might think badly of me. Anxiety half hour. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Thank you for the hearts. Appreciate that. Any other questions? I think we're going to wind uh, wind down here. What uh, what can you take natural insomnia? That's boy. That's different for everybody. Um, first of all, get your exercise in. So exercise on a regular basis. Eat and drink plenty of water. Uh, don't refrain from eating and drinking things right before bed uh, and really really try to be in an environment where you try to focus on calming everything down uh, but that may work it may not one day it might work so there's no not a defined answer to that and some people do take mel melatonin um, some people find it helpful and some don't I mean that that's the thing I can't, there's not a cookie cutter approach to this. You have to kind of try things. You know you, your body better than anybody. And so just try things that are healthy and find out, figure out what helps and what doesn't and record it, jot it down, have a journal and say, you know, I tried this and this didn't work. I tried this and it did work. Uh, and I think that could be very helpful. And that way you have a documentation. You are being a student of you. Not, don't let your don't depend on your doctor. Don't depend on your therapist. You have to study you. You have to be more self-aware, and that's the best thing that you can do. But I get it. Your your motivation might be non-existent, but you've got to find it some, somewhere inside you. You've got to find that motivation 